Hey guys, it's the Tri Guy here. Today I've got an awesome review for you guys. This is the Argon 18 Krypton. Now this bike has really nice paint on it. It looks really good. Flat black paint with a bit of uh, gray. I think it looks really good. Um, now for the frame, it is a complete carbon fiber frame. Uh, this bike also has a carbon fiber fork and a carbon fiber seat post. Um, the components on this bike are Shimano 105. Uh, so the front and rear derailleurs are Shimano 105 and the brakes are also 105. The pedals are uh, Shimano Dura-Ace. Um, the wheels are a Mavic Axiom race wheels. I'm not exactly sure how good these wheels are. We'll see. Um, they're not too heavy and I don't think they're too, they're not extremely light either, but we'll see uh, how they feel. The uh, handlebars are um, aluminum and so are the cranks. So we'll see how those are. Maybe not exactly as stiff as carbon fiber, but you never know. Could still feel really good. We'll see. Um, the seat is a specialized avatar seat. I don't really knew, know too much about this seat, but we'll see uh, how comfortable it is once we get riding. Um, it's got some nice lizard skin bar tape, and if you've seen my other videos, you know that I definitely like this bar tape. Um, so that's a good start already. Uh, it's also got some nice uh, blue um, bottle cages that match with the bar tape and the, the wire housing and uh, the tires. And going to the tires now, this bike um, still has a training tire on the back, so we'll have to see uh, how that feels once you get riding, but I'm guessing the grip will not be too great, but you know, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Let's go see how it rides. All right guys, just jumped on the bike. Um, before we start talking about the bike though, um, I'll just mention that I'm gonna be uh, probably comparing this bike a lot to my S3 in this review. So you should probably go check that out uh, before you watch the rest of this video. So I'll put a link like maybe in this corner or maybe I'll put one in that corner, who knows? But anyways, yeah, just go check that out and you'll know a lot better what I'm talking about. All right, getting onto the bike now. So I've, um, just been riding this for not even two minutes now. Uh, the GoPro says minute 24 seconds. I can just see it counting up here. So anyways, yeah. So right away when I got on the bike and just, you know, got up to speed, I noticed that the acceleration does not feel as crisp as on my uh, Cervelo S3. So that's probably because the frame, just the way the frame's designed or whatever, but it doesn't feel as crisp accelerating since I guess the frame isn't as stiff. And also um, the bike only has aluminum cranks. So, and uh, the S3 has carbon fiber cranks. So that'll have a, definitely have an effect on that. But as I'm riding right now, I notice I'm pretty sure the ride is smoother. It feels not as bumpy. So maybe that's because the frame isn't that stiff. Another thing that I'm noticing right now is that the seat does not feel as comfortable for me at least and obviously that just depends on the person everyone will like different seats or whatever but just something that i'm noticing right now so uh, i'm gonna go ride the bike for about another half hour and then uh, i'll come back to you guys all right guys i've been riding for about 25 minutes half an hour now and i've definitely got some updated impressions so the first thing is that uh, the frame definitely is not as stiff as I mentioned before. Um, the acceleration doesn't feel as good like going out of a corner. Um, with my S3 really like you go and the power really feels to go straight to the wheels. With this bike, it's a little, I don't know, it doesn't feel as great for the stiffness um, aspect of it. But uh, the ride is definitely a lot smoother. I will say that. Um, for long, long rides, this would probably be a lot nicer, uh, more comfortable. Now, uh, going through corners um, is definitely a bit um, hard to judge right now because the rear tire is still a training tire and the grip is not great. But I can say that it does feel, the bike feels a lot more stable going through a corner. On my bike, you can go really, I don't know, you feel like you're going fast and you can kind of feel a little bit jittery. 
With this bike, it feels really stable, really smooth through the corners, although it is a bit slower accelerating out of them. Now for the shifting, I've, um, in my S3 review, I talked a lot about um, how I feel between SRAM and uh, Shimano, but like right now, this bike is a Shimano 105. Pretty, like a couple of ticks down from the top, but really good, uh, really good shifters from Shimano, really good derailleur and all that. And um, I can't really feel a difference between crispness or any like gear skipping or anything like that. Um, it does feel really smooth. So um, between my S3 and this, there's um, really no difference uh, for shifting wise. But I will say that um, riding um, just normally, it is a lot quieter. Now I am kind of getting used to this uh, seating position for on a 56 size frame. Um, my bike is a 58 and I've been riding that for a while, but I used to ride a 56. So like I'm kind of in between on the sizes scale so I can kind of go th with both and I'm kind of getting used to this again a bit more uh, upright position and it is pretty comfortable I think I would prefer this bike for a longer ride definitely this would be a lot more comfortable I think for me for this bike uh, the braking is really good like I've been going through corners pretty fast and it can brake really quickly too if you wanted to um, now since my s3 has pretty worn out brake pads this feels uh, definitely a lot better. Now it's a bit hard to judge uh, these tires since the front tire is a Michelin Pro 4 uh, grid tire and then the back is just some training tire. But I can say that um, the bike feels a bit more stable than my bike in the corners as I mentioned before. But it's not as grippy, definitely not with these tires. I feel like I can't go exactly as fast as I could with my bike. But I'm sure with a good tire on the back, the uh, the bike would be just as good as my my bike, or even better. All in all, it's a really good bike. Not exactly as stiff as a frame as my bike, and um, definitely needs a good back tire. But um, with that, it'll be a great great in the turns, great uh, braking and all that. Now I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,